Hello budget people, welcome back to my channel. I'm She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. Guys, I cannot believe it. I feel like crying. Okay guys, so welcome to my channel. I hope you are all well. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos. Okay, so I'm not going to keep you in suspense too long. As you can see from the title, I have received a very big surprise gift from one of my lovely subscribers, guys. So yeah, it's been an overwhelming week and I just wanna share it with you guys. So yeah, do stay tuned and I will share what I actually received and how it all came about towards the end of the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay down my expense stickers for this week. It's been a really good week, I have to say. I'm just really happy, guys. Definitely following my meal plans that I have been giving myself. And this week, our budget for food was 50 pounds, as you know, but we only spent 42 pounds 15. A few of you did comment that you would like to see a meal plan video, so I will get around to doing that as soon as I can. You don't have to follow the methods that I use, but to be honest, as long as you do it, it definitely makes a difference in your grocery bill. The next one that I'm going to be putting down is my household sticker, and I am going to put it right above my grocery sticker. I usually pay for all of my household items and groceries together. So yeah, they're done on the same day. In total, my total shopping bill was 52 pounds 15, but 10 pounds of that was for my household items. Next, I'm going to put my fuel sticker down. So in terms of diesel this week, we've had another really good week. Um, it lasted us right up until the day that I put fuel in last week. So, it lasted me all the way till Thursday. So 20 pounds was what I put in. And I'm back at work, guys, so I'm not sure why we are still only using 20 pounds a week. Not that I'm complaining, but yeah. So maybe I do need to lower my fuel budget for next month, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And then utilities were 40 pounds this week. And that was on Sunday that I put that in. So it nearly lasted the whole week but um, I still had to put some money on the electric key and gas. So yeah, that is all done. Those are my expense stickers for the week. We've come in under budget for a couple of them, so I'm just gonna show you how that looks over on my weekly check-in. Okay, so this check-in is from the 8th until the 14th, and I've put down my expense stickers in place of me writing. I did it last week because I made a mistake, but I thought I'd continue it for this week. I do seem to have a lot of expense stickers left over, and I just think it makes the planner look really, really beautiful, guys. So the more stickers, the better in my eyes. In terms of groceries, I added 50 pounds at the beginning of the week, and I spent 42 pounds 15. So that means that I would have seven pounds 85 left over. And as you know, I use my cash dividers, so that means that I should have five pounds, which I do, behind my grocery divider, but the remaining change will be in my purse, and I'll use that to stuff my savings jar at the end of the week. I put 10 pounds in household at the beginning of the week, and I also spent 10 pounds, so I won't have anything remaining behind that one. Utilities. I put 40 pounds at the beginning of the week and I also spent 40 pounds. So again, no money remaining there. Fuel, I put in 35 pounds at the beginning of the week and I spent 20. So I should have 15 pounds behind my fuel divider, which I do. So again, we have some money that we can add to our debt snowball envelope this week. So in total, I've got 20 pounds here. And I usually leave it with my dividers until I come to do my stuff in at the end of the week. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. Another week where we put in even more money towards debt. So yeah, a successful weekly check-in. Okay, so I can come back in now and tick off my expense stickers. 
because they are all done. And now I can come in and lay down my no spin stickers. It's been another whitewash, guys. So I'm really, really chuffed. No unbudgeted expense stickers to be seen. And yeah, I have to say, March is definitely looking like another really really good month i don't want to get ahead of myself but i'm just i'm really happy we're halfway through the month we have no unbudgeted expense stickers down and we've been able to put money towards debt twice so far for the month okay so i just wanted to share something that happened to me this week so it's a little bit of a story time as many of you may know i do have my po box details at the bottom of all of my videos but they are not there for anyone to send me anything i have had a few subscribers send me products that they sell and things like that in the past or just thank you cards to be honest that i've had such lovely lovely presents from you guys already i received a gift from one of my subscribers and she said to me that she's watched my videos from day one she's seen my growth as a person and i inspire her immensely she's seen how hard i've been going at paying off my debt and she really really just wanted to support my channel so a lot of you who have followed me for a while will know already that i did try or i did attempt to save up some money to purchase a camera guys i soon found Found out that a computer was more of a priority to spend that money that I'd saved on than the camera but I did say that I would start a savings fund ie my tech sinking fund to save up for that camera at a later date that subscriber obviously heard all of those things saw all of those things guys and purchased me the camera that I have been saving up for not only did she purchase the camera and send it to me, it also came with a mic. This is a Rode mic, guys. I don't even know if you know about mics or anything like that, but this is a really good microphone. It literally came as part of like a vlogging kit. It came with a Gorilla Pod as well, which is a really, really good tripod for cameras. And she literally said that she wanted to support me. She seen my growth. She knows that I wanted to get a camera and she just wanted to get it for me, guys. I didn't even know what to do. To be honest, I thought about maybe returning it or giving it back to the lady. And as I said to you, I've never ever asked for anything. I hope that no one has ever felt that when I've spoken about things that I wanna save for, things that I wanna buy for myself and my family, that I'm implying that I want them to buy it for me. Um, that's never, never been my intention. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you such a blessing that this lady has bestowed upon me I have to be honest, I got emotional. Not only did I have the surprise about my debt last month, those of you who may know, I was able to close down a debt that I thought I'd still need to pay for, as well as winning the dispute that I had with one of my other debts, and then to receive this huge, huge, huge gift from one of you guys is just crazy. It's so, so crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you this amazing blessing that I received and just give you some hope guys just give you some hope that when things seem like they are literally at their worst there is definitely light around the corner and i put a lot of things down to my faith i was in a really really bad situation a really really bad marriage and for many years i never ever thought that i would be able to stand on my own two feet and look where i am now guys look where i am so so overwhelming and yeah i just want to say thank you i love you all have a good evening. That's all for now. I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye, guys.